What's up everyone? Anwar thinks back once again and today I've got something special for you guys. I have managed to locate my childhood Pokemon cards for the first time in 15 years. Now, it's been a decade and a half since I've seen these, so I'm going to unbox them here live on camera for you lot and I mean you're going to see my live reactions to what's in it because I don't really remember so let's just crack it shall we and get in. As you can see this is my Team Rocket Pokemon Tin, nice and lovely, we've got Jesse and James with coughing Meowth and uh, Ekans on the front and then inside, oh yes, that is the good stuff, we have got the Pokemon cards in here and I'm buzzing to get into these and see seeing what I've got, so let's do it shall we, let's get straight into it, so let's just pick some out. What's that? That looks like a, that's a Bulbasaur. Uh, that's a Bulbasaur. So let's, that might be. It might be an order, you know. Probably speaking to a lot of how had a nerdy organisation as a kid. So let's let's do it. Let's break them. In this, I've just I just picked out a little pack. I'm gonna go through them all, but just picked out a little bit. So let's get them down here. We've got the Bulbasaur, and this looks like. The original base set, doesn't it? So, not first edition, but just the standard base set. So we got Bulbasaur. I like the little picture on the Bulbasaur. It's like a little, like, toad with a little bulb flower on the back of him. Sitting in the grass, that's what you expect from a Bulbasaur, isn't it? That's what you want. But as you can see, this card is not in great condition, is it? Look at that big, that big ridge down there. But I imagine, yep, yeah, right behind it is a good condition Bulbasaur there. Centering's pretty decent on that one. 40 HP, 20 attack, leech leaf. Only two foot four tall. Okay. Another Bulbasaur. Another Bulbasaur. Another Bulbasaur. I think these are definitely in order, aren't they? Because Bulbasaur is. Yeah, it's Pokemon 1. I thought it'd be Pokemon 1 because it's one of the three starters, isn't it? So Bulbasaur, Bulbasaur. Maybe all these. This is going to be Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur. Oh. That's a second edition Bulbasaur. Oh, there's another second edition one before it. So cool. Ivysaur, here we go. Now we get this step up from 40 to 60 HP. It's got the 30 attacks and 20 attacks. Now again, he's in a forest. It's a bit foggy around him. And he's looking a bit more shifty. This one's a bit more cute looking, isn't it? Like it's trying to pounce on you. But this one, it's like he's plotting something. So we've got this Ivysaur. 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 All condition Ivysaur. Ivysaur, Ivysaur, chat, oh, no, no Venusaur, the shinies might all be together, the shinies might, I can't remember if I had a Venusaur or not, the shinies might all be together, so, Charman, look at that, a bit of a scratch on the front, again, it's a base set one, it's got a bit of a ridge down here, and again, I mentioned in one of my, in my last video, where I unboxed, unboxed the Sword and Shield Vivid Voltage Booster Box, that my mate David was the one who got me into Pokemon. Me and my friend Alan was hanging around in a big group of us and everyone else had Pokemon cards. I think both the Stuarts had them, David had them. I can't remember who else was involved, but I remember, I think we stood outside uh, one of the Stuarts' houses, the older one. And me and Alan didn't have any, so David was like, hey, I have a Charmander each, so this might be your, your Charmander. Obviously, it's got a bit of a scuff on the front, so uh, I'll take the blame for that one. Another Charmander, Charmander here with the little little fold in the tail, he's, he's, he's sat in a field, there's something on fire in the background and he's looking at his tail like, oops, I've just set that on fire and it's, a, it's an okay little drawing but it's not a great drawing of the Charmander but Charmander's one of the favourites, it's, it's the one I used to always love choosing in the game because I always wanted to be Charizard, now I know for a fact that there isn't going to be a shiny Charizard in here because that is the one card that always eluded me, I mentioned in the last video how I almost got one and yes, that's the one that got away. Everyone always talks about the love of the life that got away. Well, Charizard is that for me. So there we go. Charmander. Oh, Charmeleon. Look at that one again. A bit more aggressive looking. This Charmander was looking like, oh, what have I done? This one's a bit more purposeful, isn't it? Again, stood in a bit of a, a bit like a, a hilly area. Charmeleon again. 
Charmeleon again. Oh, this one's really not in a good condition. Look at that, like, pink kind of smudge there. A second edition Charmeleon, probably slightly better condition. Looks like it looks in readable conditions. Oh, no, it's not. It's got a bit of a, a, bit of a stain in there. Never mind. Squirtle. Onto the Squirtle. This is a good-looking car. Let's see. Again, another decent condition one. I thought these would all be in really, really poor condition. But this is actually a decent one, because when I was a kid, I just played with these. I didn't really think they'd have any value in the future, but I'm a bit of a hoarder when it comes to things that I really love. So things like these Pokemon cards, my wrestling toys when I was a kid, stuff like that, I really wanted to keep hold of. There was a lot of stuff that I could just throw away and get rid of, like magazines and stuff. But this stuff to me was like stuff that I had to keep. Even though I didn't think there was any worth in it, I had to keep it. So Squirtle here. There's a lad in my, in my farming school called Brett, Brett Ray. And we all used to call him Squirtle. That was his name because he looked like a bit of Squirtle. A little short, stocky lad. Yeah. Oh, look at that, Team Rocket Squirtle. Nice. As you can see, there's got a little R here for Team Rocket. Squirtle swimming underwater. What do you think of this one? He's kind of just stood on a rock blowing bubbles in a bit of like a foresty area. Again, a bit more cute, and then this one's a bit more under the water looking one. War Turtle, love it. But again, a bit more aggressive, standing up like, come and get me, come at me. 70 HP. 40 bites. Now bite with War Turtle. That was a good move on the Pokemon game. Correct, correctly. Another War Turtle. Another War Turtle. Again, these are just all the basic first set ones. Again, you can see the 1999 in the bottom corner here. Wizards of the Coast. Uh, Illustrator. Ken Sugimori. Look, I never noticed it. it said the Illustrator's name down there before. Oh, oh. Rocket War Turtle, but it looks like... It's got a vein running right through it, can you see that? Where it's been folded at some point? That's a poor card, that. It would have been nice looking. Which one do we think's best out of these War Turtles? I think the original, the original one's better than the Rocket one. <gasps> what the hell? I do not remember ever having this card as a kid. A shiny Blastoise. <laughs> We've just been through it and obviously, I've never had a Charizard and we've not seen a Venusaur, but I don't remember ever having the Blastoise. I don't remember having the Venusaur to be honest with you. And this looks like I've put it in order as a kid, so yeah, that is class. It's not in the best condition, you can see some scratches, you can see like the, the shinings coming through, it's bleeding through on the sides. But I mean, what do you expect? I would have been playing with these when I was like 12, 13 years old, stuff like that, but yeah. I'm, I'm going to put that to one side. I don't have any sleeves with me, but if I did... I've got some in the mail coming. I would definitely be sleeving up this bad boy. Blastoise, I'm loving that. 100 HP and 40 plus attack. And was that the second best one in the base set? Besides the Charizard, I can't remember. Now we've got a second edition Caterby. Okay. Oh, it's got a bit of a mark missing there. Um, now this one, it, I was looking this up the other day. To, to what the early ones were, the early cards, and this is Neo Genesis. I remember there's two Neo ones, and one has the star, and, and one had that, and I think maybe was there another one, but I think these were the only two, when I look through the, the sets online, that I remembered ever having. And yeah, this this kind of Chichen Itza logo down here, this Caterpie, again, which one's the best one? I'd probably say this one, with... Uh, Caterpie looking like he's in a swirly kind of forest. Here he's just in the grass. It's a lot cuter. Again, this 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 original one is hand drawn. Second edition one, original. Yes, yeah, the original one is the same design. It looks like I don't have any more Caterpie. So why do I only have a second edition one when Caterpie was very easily very easily found? But yeah, there's this one here, which is more computer generated looking Caterpie, isn't it? Then we've got the Metapod again in the forest, 70 HP, 20 down there, very basic card, probably had loads of these as a kid, oh there's another one, why have I got two of these, three of these, four of these, why have I got four of those, but like no first edition Caterpie, makes no sense. Neo Genesis Metapod there, again no moves just like in the video game, so as you can see this one here, it's got a 70 HP but a 20 move, this one, just like the video game, reflects it very well, much more stripped back looking character here, tried to make it look hand drawn but it's just not very well done, no moves but 70 HP, an okay looking card, that's the you know, Genesis, oh yes a Butterfree, now to me, is it got another Butterfree there, I have, is there another one, Have a shiny, no it's Weedle, so to me, the 
one of these should be a shiny, shouldn't it? If Butterfree should be a shiny. Maybe it was, and I think, was it in the second set? Or there was some set, wasn't there, where they started to do the regulars and the shinies of the same card? This one to me looks like it should be 70 HP, 20 and 40 attack, which for a Butterfree is pretty good. It was the first one in the game that you could get to the highest level, to the highest evolution, wasn't it? Because you could catch a Caterpie, you could get it to Metapod after level 6 or 7, and then you could evolve it to a Butterfree after 10. So then, I'd be honest with you, I'd just put it straight in the uh, in the old computer after that. And then you've got the Neo Genesis one again. Very computer animated, that one, whereas this one looks a lot more hand-drawn and looks better again. Illustrator, Kagimaru Himino. <coughs> Excuse me. Whereas this one is illustrated by Atsuko Nishida. Again, never noticed that. I've had, the, I've had these cars for like, what? 20 odd years, and the five years that I was looking at them all the time, I never noticed it said the illustrator's name. Here we go, we've got some Weedle calling around in a forest. Yep, I expected to have more Weedles. So, again, I had one Caterpie, but loads of Weedle. Don't know why that was. Very, very basic looking one, not really drawn too well. 40 HP, 10 attack, Weedle. Oh, second edition Weedle. Okay, Neo Genesis Weedle again. Not a very well drawn one, just Weedle's chilling on a leaf in a pond or just in a puddle, something like that. 40 attack, 20, well, 20 attack, 40 HP, whereas the original is a 40 and a 10. Do we have any more? Oh, Kakuna. Jump straight up to double with a 20 attack and an 80 HP. Looks like he's in a bit of an outer cocoon and he's he, he's kind of like flicking off energy around him. Oh, reasonably like decent looking one. Again, it looks computer generated rather than hand drawn by KG, Kenny Bucci. I am probably butchering those names. Kakuna B drill. Again, this should be a shiny. There's another one there. Two B drills. 80 HP, 30 times, 40 attack there. This is a really nice looking one. It looks like he's attacking you from above. You're looking up into the trees and the B drill's coming down at you. Really cool looking one. Pidgey, okay. Got a Pidgey here, a 40, our first uh, normal Pokemon. Obviously, a flying type again. He's just sat in. A field, not flying. Maybe he should have been flying, that would have looked a bit better. Maybe Pidgeotto's flying. Nope, Pidgeotto's not flying. Pidgeotto's now sat on a hill. Pidgey sat in like a forest, but Pidgeotto's got to higher ground. He's flying in a hill. And Pidgeotto again. And Pidgey. Oh! There we go! Is that. Yes, it is. It is a jungle card. Now, I don't think we've had a jungle card yet, and it's a shiny jungle card. Because it's a shiny Pidgeot. 80 HP, 30 wing attack, 40 hurricane, which actually is worse than Beedrill for attacks. Which Pidgeot to me, <coughs> excuse me, was one of the main Pokemon you wanted in the game, wasn't it? You really wanted that Pidgeot because he was badass. He could fly you all over the place. <coughs> excuse me, losing my voice a little bit there. He could fly you all over the place and he had that aerial attack. Whereas when you're coming against a Diglett, something like that, it was very handy. I was hoping I was going to pick that, and there's going to be another one underneath, but there's not. Okay, don't get too greedy, Adam. One shiny Pidgeot is enough. Rattata, basic set there. Again, he's just sat in the field. Only one? Any more? No. So again, he's got this rocket one. He's like a rat as well. He's kind of sat in the forest. He's looking up a bit angry. This one looks a bit more cuter looking, which is weird because the rocket one... Surely that one should be the one that looks a bit more aggressive and angry. For, and the HP's gone up by a 10 on that one. Decent looking card. Raticate. What's this question mark here? Does damage defending Pokemon equal to half the defending Pokemon's remaining HP? Okay. So it can take you down by half. Looks like it's in a forest. The forest isn't really drawn well. The Raticate's drawn. Okay. Raticate again. Second edition one this time. Dark Raticate this time. This one looks much better. Again, hand drawn. Looks like it's in kind of a darkened forest in the mud. Okay, a decent looking one. Spiro, jungle card. Stepping on a worm. Now, I, this is a bit of a bugbear for me, actually. When I used to see Pokemon cards where it had another animal in it, but that animal isn't a Pokemon, then what is that animal? Because in the world of Pokemon, every animal is a catchable Pokemon. So, we've got this worm here, but what is it? It's, it's not a Pokemon, so, like, it doesn't make sense to me. Why is that in this world? It seems like where the world's crossed... Ooh! Now, these ones, they were, they were called, like, gym, 
gym class here, not gym class here, that was the, that was the like group, wasn't it? Like da 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 da. This is gym heroes, gym heroes. Lieutenant Surge's spear. We got Lieutenant Surge at the bottom. Like, oh, this is a much better looking card, especially because it's got this down there compared to this one stepping on this worm. Now he's flying a little bit, and yeah, just it's got the Lieutenant Surge at the top looks better. Fero, which is again, it's another jungle card. Bit of an ugly looking Pokemon, and again, you can see all the lines because he's flying fast through the air at you. And that is the first little bunch. Me. I can tell I've taken one from here because. I see him right back looking at me is a fear oh by the way can we just get a little pat on the back for young teenage adam sorting all these out in a uh, in pokemon order so again we've got number 27 down here oh i should have kept track about which pokemons i've got and which ones have not but then again i didn't know they were going to be in this order so what can you do second edition fear down here 20 and 40 attack 70 we've got an echo Eccles and Ekans, which is a fossil card, which is a looks like it's a hand drawn one. Again, he's in the mud, he's coming like up at you to attack you. Doesn't look too threatening though. But again, if that was a real snake, I'd be bricking it. Whoa, length six foot seven. That is a massive snake. What the hell was Arbok if that was six? I mean, have I got an Arbok in there? Fossil Ekans, fossil Ekans. Okay, rocket Ekans. 50, not a, not doesn't look as good. Background's a bit crap on this one, but it's a rocket card, so I mean I like it for that standpoint. I remember the buzz I used to get. Oh, there's an Arbok. The buzz I used to get from getting the later series ones where they started to change the look of the Pokemon. It used to feel better getting those because it was like, oh, this is new and it actually felt new. Whereas when you used to get like the second edition and stuff like that, it just felt like you were getting the same ones that you already had. If that makes sense. And did they do the same with the jungle set? Did I think they just would release the same Pokemon maybe as jungle? I can't remember that, but jungle didn't really feel like new Pokemon to me. But when it was Fossil and Team Rocket, that really started to feel like they were starting to bring out like newly drawn Pokemon. Now this is the Arbok, eleven foot six. Okay, now that should be to me one of the baddest Pokemon's in the game. An eleven foot six snake to me sounds terrifying. Done about to you lot, but to me. That sounds proper scary. Decent looking one again. He's in a forest. He's kind of attacking off to the side. Oh, there's the guy. Pikachu. Only 40 HP with a 10 and 30 attack. One foot four. So tiny, tiny thing. But Pikachu was the one. If you've got the red cheeks Pikachu, like this little chubby one. If you've got the red cheeks one, then I think that's worth a lot of money. But this is just a standard yellow cheeks one. So not worth too much. Oh, there's another different Pikachu. Okay, so... They did do different designs in this then because that's a different design and that is the jungle cards. I'll, I'll do a complete blank then. Yeah, the jungle card Pikachu 50 up here with all this. Can I just as well say a huge thank you? Oh my goodness, I can do that in a minute. No, I should do it now. I want to say a huge thank you to my parents because one, they gave me the money to buy all these cards when we weren't flush with money back in the day. I mean, we're not flush with money now, but especially back then. And two, I said I was the one who located these cards. They located it. I sent a message to my mum saying, listen, can you look through my old bedroom at home and see if you can find this tin? I found the tin on eBay and I, sh I sent it to her. I was like, the tin looks like this. Now theirs is brand new. Mine has got scuff marks and scratches all over the place. It's not in the best condition. That doesn't matter to me because it's, it's loved. It's well used. It's, it's, it's got character. And I said, can you please find it? She found it and then my dad dropped it off to me and that's how I've got to it now. But look at this, all the way through that, right there on the screen, you can see it. You can see this shiny Raichu. Wow, this may be my favorite looking card from back then. I can't imagine having a better one than this. Like so far we've had what? Pidgeot and a Blastoise. And there's, there's one that other Pokemon that I can remember having as a shiny. I won't mention it now, I'll mention it later on when it comes to it. But there's only one that I can remember definitely having. So this Raichu to me looks fantastic. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not in great condition. It's not a PSA 10, something like that. Maybe, it, you know, close to the middle ranges. But, um, yeah, Raichu. Shiny Raichu, lovely. And then we go from Raichu to Sandshrew. Just this little kind of weasel looking thing on the floor. 
uh, can roll up in a ball. He's sat on concrete, nothing special about him. But again, it's just part of the base set. There's no numbers on it anywhere, nothing like that. Sanshu, Sanshu, second edition, Sanshu, Sand Slash, all from the fossil set this time. Again, on a kind of a blurry background, you can't really tell what he's on. It looks like a bit of a muddy background, maybe he's in a cave somewhere. And yeah, he's coming just only 3 foot 3, 70 HP, 20 in the 20 attacks down there. Not a bad looking card. Nidoran Female is a good looking card, this. Look at that, it just looks cute, doesn't it? It's in the forest, only 60 HP with a 10, 10 times attack. Again, it's a jungle card, but it's a decent looking one. Another jungle card one. Another jungle card, another jungle card, another jungle card, another jungle card. Another jungle card, card. 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 second edition Nidoran there. Need Arena. Now we're taking the step up. I used to like the Need Arena in the game and the Need Queen and the Need King and the Need Arena. Uh, looks like it's in like a sandy atmosphere. There's a bit like a sand castle in the background. 70 HP and a 30 times attack. Another jungle. Need Arena. Another jungle Need Arena. Oh, drops it on the floor. I can deal with that later. Another jungle Need Arena. Second edition Need Arena. Need Queen. That should be a shiny. Oh, bloody hell. Why is that not a shiny? Was it the jungle set where they started to like make one hollow and non hollow? I think that's right, isn't it? If if you know, drop me a comment in the comment section. But yeah, look at that. That if that was a shiny, that would be an awesome card. In fact, I've seen it shiny somewhere. I'm sure I've seen it shiny somewhere. Yeah, I've, I don't have it though. But maybe. I, hmm. Maybe I do. Maybe I've got it in there. Anyway, Nidoran male. Decent looking one again, he's in a field. He's a kind of cute looking one, but kind of a bit more aggressive. He's got the horn on his head. Decent looking one. Second edition one. Oh, Nidorino. This kind is kind of bearing down at you, like a Nido Rhino. That's what the Reno is kind of standing for. Only two foot 11, so it's a very small kind of creature. Only 60 attack, which again, I can if this was a bigger Pokemon, this would have way better, better stats, but it's a really small Pokemon. I didn't really realise how small it was. Oh, yes, and oh, hell yes, Nido King Shiny. Second edition, I don't know if this was in the in the base set or just in the jungle set or, or, or what set it was from, but obviously this is a second edition one, and it's not in terrible condition. It's got a little black speck down here, which I wonder if I can... I've got it off. I've got a little. There's a little black speck here as well. Okay, I don't. I don't want to scratch the cards. So I don't want to go into it too much. But I mean, it's got a bit of a turning up in the corner down there. So I don't know what piercing. I mean, it looks pretty middle to me. That that's a good needle king shiny as well. I like the shiny background. I was just gold, and it's kind of like. He's coming out of an explosion kind of thing, coming at you. I like that. Oh my days, we've just gone back to back shinies with a Clefairy. Do you know what, I think I have some kind of recollection of this little group of kids in my year at school. Heather was the name of one of the girls. I can't remember who was in a group with her. And I think they had this Clefairy. I don't know if I traded for it with them, or maybe I was trying to trade it with them and I couldn't. I remember they used to call me Brock in school. They used to be like, you look like Brock. And that was my nickname from them for like all the way through school. They would just call me Brock. Uh, but yeah, look at this shiny Clefairy. Again, it's got some of the black marks on the side. The centering is looking pretty decent to me. Pokemon number 35, good. Another Clefairy. Okay, now we've got the Neo Genesis. Yeah, Neo Genesis is this one. Terrible animation on this one. He sat on a part swing, which is kind of cute for Clefairy, but the drawing just isn't that good. Neo Genesis, you let me down there. Clefable, now, why is Clefairy a shiny and Clefable isn't? Clefable's like dolling itself up a little bit. Attacks don't have a basic number on them, but it's got a 70 HP. It's an okay looking card, but I'd love it a lot more if that was a shiny, that's for certain. Volpix. Can I just say we're getting close to that second shiny that I remember? Oh, that shiny, the only shiny I remember having as a kid, we're getting close to it now. Vulpix, cute looking thing on an all black background, kind of like I said, a, a weird photo shoot from the 80s, kind of something from a Daft, a Daft Punk video. Another Vulpix, it's a different colouring on there. Is that a different colour? Is that, is that my eyes? That looks like a different colouring. Oh, we've got a Brock's Vulpix behind it. Again, 
That's from the Jim Hero Swan. Got Brock at the bottom corner. I suppose I am Brock because the story we just went. And here it is. Yes. Right here to my side. This beautiful card. Nine Tails. This card is so dear to my heart. Now the story of this Nine Tails goes that when we were kids, my sister had either a bit of money from Christmas or it was coming up to her birthday or something like that. My mum took her to Woolworths and she said that you can have whatever you want, like obviously within a certain price range. And I talked my sister into getting a Pokemon booster box. And I can't remember which one I wanted. Do you remember the, it wasn't a booster box. I think it was called a trainer box where it had like a set number of cards and it was a set like you'd have one nine tails, you'd have two Vulpix, you'd have three of this, but you know that kind of thing. You'd have, it specifically say on the back what you were going to get inside. And she saw this card and she loved it and she was like, I'm getting this one and nine tails. And none of my mates had a nine tails. I was the only person I knew as a kid who had a nine tails. And because I shared it with my sister, it was really near, near and dear to my heart. Now my sister doesn't want it anymore. At least I don't think she wants it anymore. These are in my possessions. So these are my cards now. Sorry. But that's why it's near and dear to my heart. And that's why when I almost got a shiny Charizard, the guy, the kid, when I was a kid, he wanted all my shinies. And this is the only one I didn't want to get rid of. And I eventually said, you know what, I'm gonna do it. And I might have even hid this one in my pocket and I went to him with all my shinies. And he said, no, I want all, all them, but a tenner as well. And I just didn't have a tenner. Selling, trading him all my shinies was enough, but the extra tenner, it was too much for me. So that ninth, this, this may be my favorite card of all time, you know. Obviously, I never had a shiny Charizard, but that this one to me is my favorite. Jigglypuff, one of the favorites, a cute little one. You, you've got the singing notes in the background. He's obviously singing. He's sat at the bottom of a tree in a forest. Lovely looking card, and it's from the jungle set. Another jungle set, Jigglypuff. Another jungle set, Jigglypuff. And another, and another one. This time, second edition Jigglypuff. And another shiny. Yes, we have bagged. Another shiny, look at that one. That, right there, that is in, let me just add you up a little bit. That is in good condition, that card. I don't care what you say, I get it. I've not just pulled it out of the pack. It's not a PSA 10, I get it. But for me, for these cards that I used to play with, I used to put them in my pockets. Me and mates used to like put them all on the floor and stuff. The one time we had a big Pokemon tournament, we had them all on the floor, like the horrible floor where dogs go and do the business when they're walking through the streets, scratching them off the ground and stuff. This has been through all that and look at the condition of it. That's quality condition. And again, it's a lovely little cartoon drawing, wiggly tough. Fantastic, we're up to about five shinies so far. Zubat, perfect for a Zubat that. It's got this kind of weird kind of cave kind of environment as you would expect from a bat. And then it's got no eyes and it's got the four teeth because it's going to leech from you and that's its move, leech life. And it's in the fossil set. Fossil set Zubat. And another one. Fossil set Zubat. Fossil set Zubat. Fossil set Z It sounds like I'm not speaking English anymore. Brock's Zubat, yes. Hanging upside down from a tree. Looking good from the gym class set. Golbat, that to me should be a shiny. I'll keep saying that, but that to me should be a shiny. Maybe not because it's just a second level and not a third level up, but that's the final evolution of a Zubat. Golbat. Oddish. Very computer generated. Was never a fan of the look of this car. Couldn't put my finger on it when I was a kid. But now I can, and it's because it's computer generated. I like how you can see the stars above it, but why couldn't you just draw that out for us? It would have looked way better. In fact, I'm going to put my shinies over there so I don't drop them. Around. Cool. Oddish. Jungle Oddish. <coughs> Excuse me. Oddish. Oddish. It's not just odd, it's oddish. 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 Okay, Rocket Oddish. And if this one wasn't good looking enough for me this one definitely isn't very very much scaled back very poor level of drawing another oddish oh my third oddish i've had three of one card before i don't think so okay this time the neo genesis again a rubbish drawing of oddish pokemon what are you doing to me can you not draw oddish properly oh my days there's not a fourth one but that gloom's decent looking even though it's computer generated it looks decent i like that another gloom Oh, okay, a Gloom from the Neo Genesis set. Yeah, Neo Genesis. It looks like he's overeating here. He's just kind of rolled back and all that. Decent looking card, that Gloom. 
Vile Plume. Here we go. And this one, definitely third level of an evolution. This one should be a shiny, but again, probably because it's from this set. There might be one. I never got it. I got this one and it's in terrible condition. Look at that. <laughs> Not a great condition, Vile Plume, sorry. Paris. Okay, Paris in the, the jungle set. Cute looking one, looks like a bit like he's got kind of two berets on his head and he looks like he's got a weird moustache mouth but he's not, just kind of his pincer mouth. Or are these the pincers? I don't even know. I don't know my crabs. Never experienced them. Crap, Paris, Paris. Paris Saint-Germain, second edition. Parasects, okay, Parasects. Much nice looking one, this to me. It's got a bit of a glow to it. It looks like it's coming from the trees. It's gonna attack you out of nowhere. Decent looking one. Another Parasect. Second edition Parasect. And a Venonat. Again, very, very basic. Looks like it's hand drawn. A bit of a dandelion behind it. It says three foot three here. But I mean, look at how big it is compared to these. That is a massive moth. Is there another card behind that? No, there's not. Oh, half an hour through, roughly. Come on. Venonat. 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 Second edition Venonat. Second edition Venonat. I mean, is this. Is that the most cards I've ever had for one? But Venomoth! That's a shiny. Yeah, you can see it bleeding through. It's not a great quality condition one, but it still counts. Bang it up there. Venomoth. Alright. Not a great looking card. I like them more when they're like this and you can't see there's nothing really in the background it's just like a, a psychedelic background that they've made oh look at the swirl there that's lovely uh, but that you can just see it's in the field and they just made it shiny so they're probably oh there we go i was going to say there probably is one way it's not a shining it's right next to it i mean obviously <laughs> nerdy little me spent must have spent ages putting them together in order for the hell um yeah Ven venomoth decent Diglett again, computer generated, looks terrible. I used to love it in the game of Diglett, because when you used to get it, it used to really like smash people with that uh, earthquake and, uh, in, the, in the dig. You do a dig, they do an attack. Sometimes if you were against a golem, it, or a graveler was it, it would do like a self-destruct, and you'd be underground, it would just kill itself. You'd come back and you'd get all the HP points, all the XP points. Diglett, second edition Diglett. Doug Trio, again, I used to love a Doug Trio in the game. Only two foot four, so you would have thought it couldn't do much damage, but in the game, I thought it was quality. 70 HP, it could do a 70 attack though. Earthquake, and again, a slash for fort. Oh, yes, Dark Doug Trio, and I remember this one. I remember exactly where I got this one from. I got this one from Farmworth Market back in the day. Back in the day, Farmworth used to have a market, right? They had these market stores, and I, I think I went with my mum. And I like, I, I don't even think I have to persuade her. I think I was just looking at the Pokemon. She's like, oh, do you want one? Do you want a pack? And I was like, yeah, sure. I think by this point, I'd stopped collecting them maybe, but I think again, we paid one, I think maybe 150 for this pack because it was on the market. Look at this Dark Doug Trio. Look at that shiny. He's breaking through the floor of the house into your bedroom. He is the monster you do not want to come across. Speaking of monsters you don't want to come across, is the bad guy of Pokemon, it's Meowth. He, well, he was a good guy, really. He was just caught in with a bad crowd, and that's something that I think a lot of us can uh, relate to at times in life. Decent lucky one. He's hoarding all of his good little chips here, and he, he's kind of like in the dark and they're shining a spotlight on him, it looks like here. Another Meowth. Another Meowth. Another Meowth. What Pokemon are we on so far? 52. We're not even halfway through. Damn, 50. Meowth, second edition Meowth. Oh, what is this? It's a promo shiny Meowth. And I don't know what for. If anyone knows what a, a promo shiny Meowth was given for, hit me up in the comment section because I'm not too sure. I mean, I'm sure by the time I'm editing, I've done a bit of research and I know the price of it. But either way, I'm not too sure what this would have come with. Would it? I think the films used to have that promo sticker in it, but they had something else in it. This wasn't one of the film ones, if I remember correctly. That's nice. And that's in that's in pretty good condition as well. Oh no, it's got a bit of veining over here. Oh, why did I not sleeve that? Why did I not believe in the value? Or again, a rocket Meowth. Now that is peak Meowth. This one should be worth something just because Meowth was the rocket character, wasn't it? And it should be a rocket card. Persian, the evolution of Meowth, but... 
Persian 2 was a bit like Raichu in that, like, obviously it was the evolution of that Pokemon, but you wanted the Pikachu, you wanted the Meowth more, because you wanted them in that state, because they were such a huge part of the cartoon and the anime. Like, but even in the game, like, you didn't bother too much with Raichu or Persian, because, like, Meowth and Pikachu were, like, so ingrained in you from watching it. Persian again. Psyduck. Ugly little thing, and again, look at that. He's got a fish in the background. Either that's a Magikarp, or that's not a fish from the game, and if so, why is it drawn in there? Because every animal should be a part of the Pokemon lore, shouldn't it? Psyduck's even, Psyduck's even confused about it. Look at it, he's giving him a headache. Psyduck, Psyduck, Psyduck. Golduck, okay, again, that should be a shiny to me, but it is what it is. Swiping out from a weird kind of milky looking water, but yeah, decent looking card. Mankey, Mankey the monkey, this the big ball of fluff. Okay, a looking one swinging down from the trees at you. Another monkey. Another monkey. Another monkey. Oh, a rocket monkey. That is a terrible drawing. Look at the state of that monkey. That is pretty. I mean, let's, let's center it up a little bit for you, but that is a poor drawing. I'm sorry. Sumi Yoshi Kazuki. I'm sorry, but that is, that is. And another one underneath. Why have I got two? Of, of, of all the rockets to have twice, that is not what I wanted. Primeape. Primeape. Here we go. I mean, that one, he's kind of running at you. It's a decent one. Like, you see all the smoke puffs because he's running so fast. Growlithe just chilling in a field. Growlithe. Second edition Growlithe. Okay, Blaine's Growlithe. That's cool. Blaine down here. Another Blaine's Growlithe. Why is it two different Blaine's Growlithe? Are these different? No, it's got the same same logo here and here. Arcanine hundred level. Look at that. That is a, that is a class card. That that should be that should be a shiny again to me. That should be a shiny. Maybe that's the catchphrase of this video. That that should be a shiny. Another Arcanine second edition one. That one. Poliwag looking all cute and that in a pool. Poliwag second edition Poliwag. Poliwhirl again on top of the water. A bit more confident in himself. Polly Whirl, do I have a polyrath here? Polly Whirl. Neo Discovery Polly Whirl. Mm, chilling in a, a lake amongst some lily leaves. Misty's polyrath. Should be a shiny to me. It's not. Come on, Pokemon. What are you doing to Oh, I don't have one. Okay, Abra. Sleeping next to a tree. Abra. From, again, from the base set. We've got Abras for days. And days and day oh second edition Abra okay second edition Abra Rocket Abra chilling on the top of this kind of sphere it looks like a church that looks like to me a bit like Hamburg when I went to Hamburg and you can see all the city view from the church that kind of looks like what the view's like a little bit okay Kadabra I'm not too sure about Kadabra because wasn't there a thing where Yuri Geller sued Pokemon so they could they had to stop making po like Kadabras maybe it's just the Japanese one because the name in Japanese is like Uri Gera or something like that. Like obviously a, a, a trade off of, of Yuri Geller, and obviously he's the spoon bending Pokemon. And they said that they couldn't make Kadabras anymore, but maybe it was just they couldn't make the Japanese version. Kadabra, 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 second edition Kadabra. Give me an Alakazam shiny. Oh, Rocket Kadabra. Okay, cool, but something different. No Alakazam. Come on, what are you doing to me, Pokemon Masters? Machop, Machop always reminds me of a lad I went to school with, Wahid. Just I don't know why. I think he had a, I think he had a match on me. He looks a little bit like this is cool to be honest with you. Sorry if you're watching this, mate. He's like he stood on the cliff and he's kind of holding like a big rock, maybe to throw at someone. But even though his move is low kick, Machop, Machop, Machop. We're getting to 66 here. The, yeah, England won the World Cup. Machop. Match up, match up, match up. Oh, I can see an R peeking out. Is that a rocket match up? Match up. Rocket match up. There we go. Kind of a better looking one, actually. Nothing in the background. He's got punch and kick this time. Okay, that's a bit of an upgrade. Match up. Match up looks cool. 50 minus. Don't know what the minus is about. But again, a cool looking one. Pause in the, f in the field. Bodybuilder pause. Match up. Come on, give me a match up. Match up. Oh my days. Look at the state of that. Look at the state of that. 
these scratches down here and down here. <coughs> what was I doing as a kid? I remember before when I showed you that Pokemon and I said I used to put them on the floor and it probably got scratched in that. This is what I meant. No way. It's a bloody first edition as well. I get it, Matchup's not one of the, the most expensive ones, as you can probably see by the price that popped up. Matchup's not one of the most expensive first edition cards because you could get it in one of those set packs where you guarantee the matchup so everyone had one. But I mean, come on, Adam. I never got one of those packs though, so I must have traded for someone with this, and I can see why they traded it. I just feel a bit nauseous looking at it. Oh, that is a PSA minus one, and it's a first edition. My first first edition I pulled out of this box. Stay at that. Bell Sprout. The one thing I used to find weird about Bell Sprout was in the game you could swap it for an Onyx. It didn't really make much sense. Like, why would you be able to swap a, a Bell Sprout for an Onyx? Like, it's like a it's a, it's a it's a snake made out of stone. That was a tongue twister, wasn't it? Bell Sprout. Bell. Whereas this is just like a a leaf. A leaf of a bulb on its head. Bell sprout. All these from the uh, jungle pack. Oh, and just as so I say, that was a second edition one there. Second edition bell sprout. Second edition bell sprout. Was an oh Erica's bell sprout. That's a, that's a much better looking one to me. Maybe just because I know it's a bit different, but that to me is a better looking one. Weeping bell. Okay. A bit dopey looking. He's dribbling a little bit. It looks kind of a bit psychedelic. This card, doesn't it? I like that. Do I have a victory bell in here? Weeping bell. Weeping Bell, Weeping Bell, Erica's Weeping Bell again. Just a bit more gold, I sat on the floor, all loads of spores around him and stuff like that. Victory Bell, Victory Bell, not a shiny though. That should be a shiny. Come on, give me a shiny Victory Bell and a Tensor Cool. Okay, right. Let's fire three more of these. We've got a Another tentacle, he's just sat looking in the ocean. Tentacruel, which to me seems like a way better, way better Pokemon, doesn't it? Tentacruel. Geo dude, I like that. We're kind of punching out from like a volcanic explosion, it looks like there. Geo dude. Brock's Geo dude, okay, nice. Golem. Golem. My precious. My precious. Do I have a. Wait a second. Evolves from Gravelar, but I've just had a Geodude. But... No Gravelar. That's weird. I have, a, I have a Brock's Geodude. I have a Golem. My precious. But no Gravelar. Weird. Okay, Ponyta. Oh, I watched one of Logan's Paul's videos recently. Like. I wanted to give him a chance because I've heard the name but I got put off before, like the first time I heard of him when he did the Japanese stuff or whatever. And I heard, that was the first time I heard of him so I was put off but then like when he was doing like all the Pokemon stuff I thought I'll give him a try. And he was like, oh I, I was a big fan of Pokemon as a kid and then he called this Ponita. Ponita, it's not Ponita, it's Ponita. Ponita. Just chilling in a field. Do I have a Rapidash? Oh, Rocket Ponita, nice. Rapidash, oh, lovely Rapidash. Very majestic, five foot seven. That should be, say it all with me, a shiny. Slowpoke, very basic drawing for a Slowpoke, but again, not a very desired Pokemon. Slowpoke. Rocket Slowpoke, okay. Interesting enough, doing a bit of fishing, but he's falling asleep on the boat. Rocket Slowpoke again, okay. Three different Slowpokes, that is cool. Okay, this time we got a Neo Genesis. It looks like he's a bit, bit, bit of an acidy kind of picture, if you know what I'm saying. Another one, wow. Another Neo Genesis, Slowbro. Again, this one to me, say it at home, that should be a shiny. What is going on with this Slowbro? Slowbro to me was a bit of a dumb evolution how you could get. Was it a Cloyster would like clamp onto his tail and become a Slowbro? Bit silly, wasn't it? But then again, it was a child's cartoon. But as an adult, I can look back and uh, appreciate that they were just they were just having a bit of a laugh. Dark Slowbro, look how menacing it's looking. We've even got the rocket train of the end and like, what's going on? I like that, I really like the look of that one. 
Oh, yes. Dark, slow, bro, shiny. I'm loving a bit of that. Take a look at that. Take a look at that. That is a beautiful looking car. I was just saying how I liked the basic one, the non hollow, which is that. And then you got the shiny on top, which it's not in, you know, it's not in mint condition, but it's, it's in good condition. Bit of bleed on the right hand side, but I mean, you know, the bulk of the car looks fine. It looks great. Let's just put it over there. Let's put it that scratched up match amp. Magnum, my horrible, horrible looking car. This very ugly. And again, I never liked the look of this as a kid. Couldn't put my finger on it. And again, I can right now. It's computer generated. It's computer art. Oh, not very great looking one. Magnemite, again from the basic set though, second edition, what's that? What's that? From Neo Genesis, on like a grey card. Oh! It's a normal Magnemite, so it's not an electric one, it's a normal one. Neo Genesis, wow, I never knew that you could get him in a normal. Okay, or oh, her. Oh. Farfetch, Farfetch was a weird Pokemon, wasn't it? Remember that that one where you had to go in the in the field and like push them all around, and then you'd come back and then the guy would give you a charcoal or something to make Pokeballs with something like that. Um, or you could you could get access to his kiln. Farfetched, Farfetched. He's drawing with his leak in a, in a kind of a painted background, so maybe he has been painting. Farfetched second edition, Farfetched second edition, Doge Duo running in the middle of a desert. Cactus in the background, Dojuo again, all from the base set. Oh, second edition, just as I say that, that's my curse. Just when I say that, so that happens. Um, Dodrio for the jungle set. Reasonable looking one, but again, in the middle of the desert, it looks like a kind of a meet me. What was that? What, like a roadrunner? Wasn't it? Maybe that's what it was based off Dodrio again. Do we have a shiny Dodrio? Did shiny Dodrio exist? Second edition Dodrio, no, straight to Seal over here. Seal looks like Mario a little bit. Like if Mario was a Pokemon, a water Pokemon, Mario would be a Seal. That, that's uh, oh, a Dugong. See, Dugong's a nice looking Pokemon. He's, un he's under the water. You see the icebergs, lovely. Another Dugong, okay. One Seal, but two Dugongs. One Seal, but three Dugongs. Oh, I thought I was gonna get a fourth one then. Thought I'd be uh, yeah, Jugo's a nice one. Grimer just chilling out next to this bloody oil tanker kind of thing. Grimer. Grimer. All from the jungle set, Grimer. Again, it's a nighttime edition, this one. Do you see the moon behind him, Grimer? Oh, Rocket Grimer. Kind of peeking up a skirt a little bit. That's illegal. Um, he's lifting the manhole cover up. Not a great draw in this one, is it? No, sorry, Grimer. Another Rocket Grimer. Muck, is that a... Yes, it is. That is a hollow muck. Look at that. From the fossil set. Loving a bit of that. Okay, Dark Muck now from the Rocket set. Well, I would have would have enjoyed that if it was a shiny, but hey, what can you do? Just had one over there, haven't we? Okay, Shelder. A bit of an ugly looking Pokemon. He's just chilling in his shell in the water. Shelder, all these from the fossil set. Shelder, Cloyster, okay, better looking one. More psychedelic in the background. Uh, is it lava? We don't really know, but he looks like he's coming from the deep depth and he looks more mischievous. Whereas the Shelder looks a bit clueless, doesn't it? Ghastly, I like how gas is in this kind of a. Uh, it looks like an abandoned building, doesn't it, with graffiti on the walls, but again, it's that computer generated one. But this is a decent looking computer generated one, to be honest with you. I'm not a huge fan of it, but it's probably the bet one of the better ones. This is a hand-drawn one, just on a plain wall. It's from the fossil set. Mm, I probably enjoy the, the regular one more, to be honest with you. Oh, Haunter. Now again, Haunter, this one really suits the computer generated one. It just really suits it. It's in like a black room. He looks like he's kind of shooting out of the bottom corner of the room as well at you. Kind of spooky, I like it. Oh, I can see something shiny poking out of me. Oh my days, a shiny Haunter. Why is Haunter the shiny and not a... Um, Ghastly, Haunter, not Alakazam, that's the other one. Gengar, why, why, do we have a Gengar? We've got a Gengar and it's not a shiny, but the, the Haunter's shiny. That's, that's a lovely card. 
Um, got a bit of a, looks like a factory line there. Uh, maybe it's a scratch, I don't know. Quite a low HP for an original shiny from back in the day, from the fossil card anyway. Gengar with the line right through him, horrible. Onyx there, Onyx the Rock Snake, 28 foot 10. Now you could swap that for a Bell Sprout in the game, that makes no sense to me. Onyx, 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 Drowsy, Drowsy. Oh, Rocket Drowsy, okay, nice. Sabrina's Drowsy, oh, he's putting a bit of a spell on you this time, though, he's loving up. Hit him, oh, look at the stare of that. I've had some poor cards in this deck, but look at that. That is sellotaped up all over the shop. I was probably desperate to get this card. Someone probably offered it me all sellotaped up. That's my story and I'm sticking to it because I don't remember what really happened, but yeah, that's probably what happened, Hypno. Krabby, bit of a basic one, standing on the beach, what do you expect from a crab? That's where he should be, Krabby. Krabby, wait a minute, if Krabby's a crab, what was Paris? Hmm. Maybe it's like a bug crab, I don't know. Bug crab. Hmm. Uh, Kingler, better version of Krabby, with the name King in it, cool. Voltorb, again, very computer generated looking this one, but it's kind of on brand with a Voltorb, so don't mind the look of it too much. Not a great fan of it. Second edition Voltorb. Oh, a rocket Voltorb. This time hand drawn, looks a bit more menacing. Um, do I like it? No, I actually prefer the original one, actually. It is a cool Oh, another rocket one. It is a cool one, though. Electrode. I really like that, like the background of it. I don't know why, but it's just like, very sensory to me. It just lures me in a little bit. Electrode from the jungle set this time. Looks like a bit of an evil character. I feel like he's missing a mustache could do one, but look at the state of that. Veins all over the place, folded up. God knows how that happened. Oh, this is a slightly better one, but again, look at all this blackening up here, the dirt. Again, a much better one than even the last one. Another Electrode there. Oh, Execute. Now, that picture of the Execute actually looks very similar to the Execute in the current Vivid Voltage set that I unboxed in my last video. If you've not seen that, go check that one out. Yeah, that's my last video on the channel. That's my first Pokemon video on the channel. Um, I'm going to go in that kind of direction. Still going to stick my wrestling, though, mind. If you are a fan of wrestling and you are watching these videos, I might do, and if you're a fan of throwbacks, I might do a video going over my WWF Hasbro collection. Those classic figures from the 90s. Execute. Execute. A very basic drawing, this one, isn't it? Execute. Execute. Erica's Execute, much better drawing, looking up at you a bit more fiendishly, Executor, I always like the look of this Pokemon, it's kind of chilled out, uh, looks like a bit of a rainbow behind it, but it's not, it's just like a nice sunset on like a kind of Palm Beach, and it's a second edition one, another second edition Executor, Cubone, do you when, was it Marowak or Cubone, was it, was Cubone going to Marowak, I can't remember, it was like Cubone's Ghost in the game, or Marowak's Ghost, remember that, that was a weird one, I like, a non-ghost Pokemon could have a ghost. Cubone, 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 Marowak, yeah, here we go, Marowak, throwing the bone right at you, that's coming right down the screen at you, that's a right, oh, yes, come on, Hitman Lee, named after Bruce Lee, even though it should be Hitman Lee LI, and he's doing the kick right down the camera, and you can see there's that gold spread all behind him, did not put an actual background, that is a pretty decent condition one as well. Oh my days, we've gone back to back. I mean, this is a fossil one, actually, but we've gone back to back because we've got a Hitmonchan next. Hitmonchan named the Jackie Chan, and again, another shiny. That is beautiful. I mean, it's a bit scratched up. It's not a great quality, but to me, these are my childhood cars. That's fantastic. That is even better. Oh my goodness. Hitmonchan, I've got two Hitmonchans. That's not happened, has it? I've not got two of anything, and I've got two Hitmonchans. And this one is a better condition than that one. What condition is this? Is it worth being graded? What do you reckon, everyone? Is this worth being graded? Could this be a PSA 8? Could it? Is there lines in it? It doesn't seem like it to me. Little bit of bleed up top here. Little, little tiny bit. Like two touches in the corner. There are some scratches on it here, actually. Maybe I'm... Oh, and there's a bit of a bleed in the blue. There's a bit of, a bit of whitening. Maybe not worth it. Coughing. Coughing. Very ugly looking Pokemon. Very basically drawn. I've, I've been a big proponent of saying they should be hand drawn, but very basically drawn this one. Coughing. Oh, drops it on the floor. Um, 
I can see poking out of me. Some more coffins over here. Let's, let's get these on. Come on, let's get at it. Rocket coughing. Chilling out. Top of a skyscraper, it looks like. He's over the chimneys. Oh, it's a very smoggy scene. That's what they're trying to get out of there. Wheezing. Cool looking one. I actually like the picture of that. I like the picture of this ride on as well. This is a cool ride on. Brock's ride on. Okay. Another ride on. Tangela, second edition. Kangas Khan. That to me should be a shiny, really. Like, look at it. Another Kangas Khan. Wait a second. Wait a second. That is a shiny. That's two shiny. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I just pulled these two non shiny Kangas Khans. And then chilling in the deck behind it was two shiny Kangas cans. What in the... I mean, this one's in a decent condition. The one behind it, you can see bleed all over, but like... There's the... Oh, I was going to say if there was three, I would have gone mad. This was in decent... Centering, not the best to be honest with you. It's very right to left. There's not much... I need to get that in a... Oh, there's a bit of a factory line you can see down there, but besides that... It's a pretty decent condition card, that. Right. Horsey. Horsey. Sending out his smog underwater. Horsey. 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 Misty's horsey. Okay. Much better looking one, this one, to me. Very cute looking one. Misty's horsey. Oh, what's that? Neo Genesis horsey? Three different horses. Cedra. Cedra looks like it means business, doesn't it? Cedra. Goldeen? Okay, okay. I'll be honest with you, right now I'm just thinking shiny, 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 give me more shinies. Goldeen. Goldeen. I'm pretty sure Seeking wouldn't have been a shiny. Second edition Goldeen. Second edition Goldeen. Yeah, Seeking non shiny, but is there shiny behind it? No. Seeking. Second edition Seeking. Second edition Seeking. Second edition Seeking Star U. Yeah, I didn't think so. Star U, very computer generated. But this one doesn't look too bad. He's on the sand. Kind of what you'd expect from a Star Me. Kind of what you want from the base set Star Me. And his move is a slap. Now, why would a star slap you? Maybe it could like jump up and slap you in the face, like just the full thing. Uh, star Me, Star Me, Star. Sorry, Star U. Wait, is it all Star U? Yeah, all Star U. Star U. Star you. There we go. There's Star Me. Star Me's the Evolve. Okay, looks a lot better underwater. Now, again, that to me should be a shiny. Star Me. Star Me. Again, very computer generated. You can see the bubbles behind it. The rays of light coming from the surface. Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime to me should be a shiny as well. Mr. Mime. Part of the jungle set. Mr. Mime. Cypher. That would be a great shiny as well as Cypher. Jinx would be another great shiny. Like I think back in the day, did they say that Jinx looked a bit like Michael Jackson? I think, and then also was that there was that episode of the where there was it, I think it, was it a Jinx episode or a Paragon episode that they had to ban because it was giving kids that like, epileptic fits or something? Electa Buzz, oh, the might be on this. Might be on this. Electa Buzz, that Electa Buzz to me could be a shiny. It's a Electa Buzz is a great looking Pokemon as well. I, just, I like the black and the black and yellow effect. Electabuzz. That is what I was expecting. Look at that. I mentioned before that promo card that shiny me out. Kids Warner Brothers Pokemon first movie promo card. I remember going to the cinema with my mates as a kid. I remember I went in my mate Stu's car and there's two Stu's that live next door to each other, I said before. I went in the younger Stu's mum's car. I remember I remember vividly that day. About two weeks before, the oldest shoe, we we all washed his mum's car and on the proviso of that, she would take us all to the cinema. And then when the day came, she was like, I'm not a taxi, I'm not taking you to the cinema. And we were like, what the hell? So he kicked up a big force and she did take him and the other shoe's mum was going to take us as well. 
basically I got in with the other stew because all the stew's one was kicking off about taking the side I'm going to go with the, the more easy ride and getting in the car and Rob Thomas and Santana Smooth was on the radio and my mate David had invited his mate Dean who to come and we were all like okay no worries and then he came gate crashed it we weren't too bothered about it but then he moaned afterwards about hating it didn't want to go and we all hated him for it we were like what the hell we didn't invite you you moaned that you weren't invited came and complained about it afterwards but this Electabuzz was one of the they give you free cards long story short they give you free cards and I remember getting this Electabuzz then that to me is I was going in the shiny pile because I loved that card Magma again that could be a shiny it just looks great to me Magma Taurus another one ok we're at about a Pokemon 128 so we're actually getting through them quite good now it's been about an hour hasn't it folks thanks for staying with me if you have Magikarp 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 Rocket Magikarp do I have a Gyarados I absolutely do Gyarados I always had this thing in my mind as Gyarados because we had a friend called Gary and I had this idea as like Gary Uno and Gary Doss I never said it because it was a dumb joke. I don't know why I'm saying it to you lot now, but Gary, if you're watching, you're Gary Uno. You're always Gary Uno in my books, and this is Gary Doss. You're the original always. So a bit of bleed up here, not a great condition, but look at that. That is a shiny Gary Doss, and that is going straight in my good pile of verde. Oh, yes! Come on! Another shiny Gary Doss. Are you joking me? That is in a great condition. Sentiment's not great. Like, on the left, it's, like, a, a lot thinner. But if we... Are you joking me? Are you joking me that I have three shiny Gyaradoses? Now, let me, let's just go with this one for a second. This one looks in pretty decent condition. I'm going to put that there. But here's a second edition Gyarados. If I had a fourth one, I'm going to go ment... No. I mean, it's a Gyarados. This is going from mind-boggling to mind-boggling to mind-boggling, right? So I had the first Shiny Gyarados, then I had the second one, then I had the third one. Three Shiny Gyaradoses and one was the second edition, okay? This was not in the best condition, it's not in the worst condition either. Then I'm thinking, am I going to get a fourth one underneath? I think, oh no I don't because there's no Shiny, there's no Shiny. Then I do see it is a Gyarados and then I see this big rip down the card and it sellotapes back over. And I have a vision in my head that my mum might have sellotaped that back for me. And I was going to throw this away and she sellotapes it for me. And it sellotaped quite nicely because I definitely didn't do that. Is there another one behind? No, that's it. Adam, what was you doing with your cards back in the day? Lapras, that... Oh, it is! I was just about to say that should be a shiny because it didn't look like one. But that is... Oh, it's a bit scratched up, but... That is going in the shiny pile. Ditto again, another one that could have been a shiny to me. Ditto. EV oh did EV lead to some shinies? I think it might have done. Let's see if I had them. EV 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 Oh Rocket EV okay Rocket EV Okay 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 Is there something shiny no it's just that started the Rocket EV again Okay, Neo Discovery. Oh no, I thought underneath we was gonna get a shiny. Oh no, we've got a Vaporeon here. I like the Vaporeon. I like how Eevee could like evolve into three different Pokemon. That was cool. Wait, oh, s right. For all the crap I give Pokemon for doing that, where they could have a shiny one and a non-shiny one. And me being so disappointed now because I'm going through them and I've got so many of the, the non-shiny versions. The fact that I just had two non-shiny Vaporeons in a row and now we've just got a shiny Vaporeon. Not in the best condition. But I love that. I even seem to have a recollection of having this shiny Vaporeon as a kid. So, let's see. I think, oh, oh, I think we, you know, we have to get towards the end of the actual Pokemons. Dark Vaporeon behind it. Dark Jolteon, so not a shiny Jolteon. Oh, no shiny Jolteon. Flareon, is there a shiny Flareon behind it? No, a dark Flareon. Porygon. Okay, oh, what's that? Rocket Porygon. Omanite. Oh, right. See this, what it says up here? Evolves from Mystery Fossil. I hate that. Just like I was saying before, how if you see like a, a Pokemon in the shop, 
It must be a catchable Pokemon. If you have evolved from this, that should be a catchable Pokemon. Now, sure, you can get it, but I mean, that's not a Pokemon. I, yeah, he does evolve from it, but that's the bug bear in mind. Omanyte. Omanyte. Oh, so we have the water Omanyte, so now we've got the ground Omanyte, and that's from Neo Genesis. Cool. Another, uh, sorry, Neo Discovery. Neo Discovery Omanyte. And an Omastar. Look at that, it looks a bit like a Squidward. Is Squidward looking like that? I don't know. Another Omastar. Kabuto. That was one of the other. Again, again, says it there. A Volsum Mysterio Fossil. That's just annoying. Kabuto, Kabuto, Kabuto. Now a Water Kabuto. Water Kabuto. Kabutops. That's a cool looking one. It looks like a, a ground version of a Scyther, doesn't it? Aerodactyl, that should be a shiny. That's a great looking card. Snorlax, another one that could be a shiny. Snorlax is the two. No. Zapdos, again. That should be a shiny. Pokemon Masters. Why isn't this not a shiny? It's a great looking card, though, isn't it? Moltres, again. That should be a shiny. Dratini, Dragonair. Dragonair looks like a like a fancy lady at the ball, doesn't it? Dragonair. Dra oh! Dragonite, another one of the first movie ones. That's sick. Wait. Mewtwo, another one of the first movie ones. That's class. And let's just a bit more detail. That like Dragonite floating in the air. I remember as a child loving that. Look, he's got his he's got his like gangster man bag, you know, all the all the roadmen have like walking around nowadays. And then look at that. That is a great Mewtwo. That is perfect Mewtwo right there. That is exactly how I want it. And okay, now we're getting above the 150. So we've got 155 Cyndaquil here. 158 Totodile. These, these are the new starters. Sentry, which was like the Pidgey version because you could catch it all over the place. Or Rattata. Hoot Hoot was, that was more like the Pidgey version you could catch it all over the place. Lady Bar. Okay, Spinarak. That's a cute looking one. Ariados. Again, looks good. It was in this area where I kind of I completely stopped with Pokemon. I've played Gold and Silver, and I used to love the games, but I stopped collecting the cards really, which you can see because you can see in the box that the next one's a trainer cards. I mean, maybe I don't think there's any more Pokemon behind it. I'll have a quick look afterwards, but like in the video. But Iglybuff, Natu, and that's a terrible looking Pokemon, Natu. Mareep, I used to love Mareep in the game, the electric sheep. Another Mareep, okay, great. Sudorudo, you used to have to squirt the thing on him to get, oh, another second edition, my second, second edition of the day, and it's a Sudorudo, which is not really first edition, is it? Because that was in the second lot of cards. Hopip, which is like a useless Pokemon, a bit like a, a second generation version of a, a Magikarp in that sense. Whooper, unknown, this is one of the things that are huge bugbears with me. When me and my friends used to go and buy Pokemon cards, before I found my childhood set, the, one of the last things that I would have done with this was buy these cards and get completely turned off them because we had to walk so far to get to Highfield and when I opened them, I got this in it. An unknown card, unknown D up here and there was, yep, exactly, underneath it, an unknown M. So two different cards that are unknown and was there all 26 A to Z? And that just to me was like, oh, this isn't a Pokemon. It looks like the paperclip from Microsoft Word back in the day. Horrible. Pineco. I remember unboxing that the other day in my um, Vivid Voltage. Dunsparce. Teddy Ursa. Sw Swinob. Corsola. Stantler. And here we go in trainer cards now. So, Arcade Trainer. Bill. Bill. These are all Bills, these. I'm gonna guess. Bill, 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 Bill. I'm gonna put those back in there, actually. And then, oh, we've got this big deck. And the, yeah, these are all like, let's see. These are all trainers and energies, so. Bill, 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 Bill. Let's get all these out of the way so we've got all your bills. Got all your bills there. Blaine's Last Resort, that would have been a part of the, the trainer series. Brock's Training Methods, that's a nice looking one. Clefairy Doll, Computer Search, Defender, 
Defender. Now, I used to hate these in, in the original Pokemon because I just wanted cards and I just wanted Chinese. And to get these trainer cards, it was horrible. That's one good thing that they've done, Digger, Energy Arc. And that's one good thing that they've done is they've made these shiny now so it doesn't make it as bad when you pull some of them. Energy removal. Energy removal. Energy removal, energy removal. Energy retrieval. Let's get a good look on that one actually. Energy retrieval there. Energy search, energy search. Erica's perfume. Full heal. Gambler, 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 gambler. Goop gas attack, gust oh, gust of wind, remember gust of wind? There's loads, I imagine there's going to be loads of gust of winds, because I, I, I remember that a lot. Gust of wind. Imposter Oak's Revenge. Imposter Oak, there's a few of those. Item, I thought there'd be way more Imposter Oak, that's the card I really remember. Item Finder, Lass, Lass. Right, this phone that you saw there, it's not a battery, so I'm just gonna have to show you like this. Maintenance. Misty's Wrath. Mr. Fuji. Mysterious Fossil. Narrow Gym Plus Power Pokeball Pokedex Pokemon Breeder Pokemon Center Pokemon Flute. If any of these are rare and worth anything, hit me up and let me know because I imagine. Oh, actually, that one's got the star in the bottom corner. Pokemon March. This one has the star in the bottom corner. Pokemon Trader. Potion. Here we go. There's got to be loads of it. Yeah. Decent handful of potions there. Professor Elm. Professor Oak. I really hope that video saved then. If not, you might have just seen the last 20 minutes of nothingness. Ah, recycle. Revive. Ruin wall. I think that would have come, yeah, in the later sets with the, the unknowns. Sabrina's ESP. Scoop up, second edition. Sleep, which has a Snorlax on it, which I don't mind if you've got a Snorlax on it, brightens them up a little bit. Sprout Tower, again, named after a bell sprout. Energy Removal. Super Potion, or as I used to jokingly call them as a kid, Super Potion, as if they're posh, and as if that was funny. Not all jokes are good, Adam, not all jokes are good. Super Rod, and not all jokes are for sharing. <laughs> Um, super scoop up, we had the scoop up before, is that a rare? No, that's just a diamond. And, oh. Switch, and finally, the boss's way. So, and then you got here, you got the energy, so you got electric there, ground there, grass. Double normal type energy, which there's only two here, which is weird. Psychic. Water. And that's it. That's literally every single card from this tin. So, we have got to the end of it. That was a bit of an anti-climax at the end, but I think because of the anti-climax, I think we should just go over these last, these best cards, the ones that I've put to one side. Let's just go over them very quickly. We've got an Electra Bros, a Mewtwo, and a Dragonair 
the cinema promo cards for the first film. I actually went to see Detective Pikachu and I asked the, I asked the woman there if they had the Detective Pikachu cards and she said, oh no, let me go find you some. And then I noticed in a stand that she was looking at, there was two cards there. And um, you know, I went with someone and I, I saw them there and I was like, hey, look, I see those cards there. I thought either she's hiding them from me or she's just forgot they're there. So I just took them both. I thought, I'll have these. And then when I was coming out of the cinema, she stopped me. She's like, hey, hey, you all right? I was like, oh no, she's gonna, and she's like, I got a card for you. And she gave me another card and then I was like, oh no, I've got three now, I feel bad. But I couldn't be like, oh no, I stole one from you before. So I got that one and I gave it to my mate Rick. Because obviously Rick's a big Pokemon fan, so shout out to Rick. You should be watching this. And if not, I hate you, take all that back. But yeah, let's go through these shinies again. We had the Vaporeon. The Lapras. The Gyarados. Three Gyaradoses. Kangaskhan, Hitmonchan, did I have two Hitmonchan? I did, Hitmonlee, Haunter, Muck, Slowbro, Machamp, Meowth, Dark Blue Trio, Venomoth, Wigglytuff, Ninetales, oh, my, my pride enjoy that Ninetales, oh wait, I brought up Brock's Vulpix with me, past me he's going to be fuming because all these cards are in all kinds of mess now, Clefairy, Nidoking, which was Nidoking the first one we pulled? Ah oh, no, Blastoise was the first one we pulled, which will be the last one we see. Raichu, Pidgeot, and Blastoise. I think Pidgeot might have been my first one that I remember getting. Either way, those are my shinies. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 22, 24, plus the three cinema cards. To me, that's 27 special cards. It's been one special video, over an hour's worth of content for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please, if you've not already, hit the subscribe button, ding that bell. That way you will get a notification every time I release a video, which will be hopefully once a week. I'm aiming to do videos every Monday from now on. Sometimes it'll be a day early, sometimes it'll be a day late, but I'm going to aim for Monday for you. I'm going to be giving you more Pokemon unboxings. I'm going to be buying more stuff. I'm going to go on card hunts. I'm going to go and do retro wrestling stuff as well. Maybe wrestling cards as well. So yeah, hit those subscribe buttons. Please drop me a comment down below if you enjoyed this. Let me know what you thought. Let me know whatever about this video, what you want to see from the future. Anything. Maybe it's something about the editing. Maybe something about the cards themselves. Whatever you want. It's completely up to you. It's your life. Share it with a friend, tell someone who might enjoy it. I would really greatly appreciate it. I want to get to 2,000 subscribers as soon as possible. So if you can help me do that, I'd very much appreciate it. Uh, another thing that I might be doing is when I get another booster box, I might be selling packs of cards. So for example, you can say I want to buy pack five. You'll buy the pack for whatever the fair price is. If it's 350 per pack, you'll go for 350. Then you get whatever's in that. If I pull the best card in the lot, then it's yours. I'll be crying, but I'll give it over to you. That's enough from me. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Anwar. I think she's been fantastic. I'll see you soon with more videos. Bye-bye.